Hey guys, welcome to Lincoln Retro. I'm your host, Lincoln Forcer, and today we're going to be talking about how to take a drive that is over 32 gigabytes and formatting it into FAT32. Can it be done? Stay tuned and find out. So if you're still wondering if you can format a USB drive or an SD card into FAT32 if it's over 32 gigabytes, the answer is yes, you can. However, you can't do that inside the Windows operating system. You're going to need a program in order to do that, which we'll get to here in a second. But I do want to go ahead and show you that I do have a 128 gigabyte thumb drive. I also have a 64 gigabyte SD card. Now, the one thing with the SD cards is that you are going to need some kind of USB card reader. I got this one from a... Raspberry Pi um, can of kit. Uh, you can also get them off of Amazon real cheap for like $10 or even less than that. Um, got this one off of Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below for this one. Uh, and let's go ahead and get over to the website so I can show you the program that I am talking about. Here we are at Ridge Corp Consultants LTD. The link to this website will be in the description below. And this is the program that I'm talking about, FAT32 Format. Now in order to download it, all you got to do is click this picture here. It'll bring this up. Just click Save File. And it's going to download wherever you have told your computer to save your downloads at. That's pretty much all we need from this website. I'm going to go ahead and close out. Now I've got everything saved to my downloads. So here's, here's, here's the program here. I'm going to go ahead and drag it out onto my desktop so we can see it better. And in order to run it, you just double click it, but first let's go ahead and stick in my, uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the 128 gigabyte thumb drive. Stick that into the computer. It's recognized. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys right now that it is in the NTFS file system. If we try to format it right now, you'll see that the only file system options we have are NTFS and XFAT. FAT32 is nowhere to be found. And that again is where this program comes in handy. So we'll double click it. It'll bring up a little warning about do you want to go ahead and run this? Click yes. And you want to make sure that you do have the drive selected that you want to format into FAT32. I don't worry about allocation unit size. Um, you can rename the drive if you want to here. And I always do a quick format. Go ahead and click start. But actually, do you really want to format the drive? All data will be lost. If there's anything on the drive that you want to keep, make sure you back it up first and then click OK. And as simple as that, guys, it is now formatted into FAT32. We'll go back over to it, go to properties, and there you see the file system is FAT32. So as you're able to tell, I was able to format that 128 gigabyte thumb drive into FAT32. Now the reason why I wanted to do this in the first place was because I do have a Raspberry Pi, it's, got, it's running RetroPie, and I wanted to be able to get the thumb drive to be recognizable by the program. That's why I did it. Um, I thought this was a really useful tool, and I wanted to be able to share it with you guys um, and let you guys know about it in case you're running into the same issue. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and check out for the day, and uh, you guys take care, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.